In this video, we are going to see how to create a blog content in bulk from Google Sheets using OpenAI. So let's say that you're using Google Sheet as a spreadsheet where you have got different topics, different video topics. And once you have that, what do you want that blog should be written for all these topics? So again here when you have to write these topics in bulk the description in bulk you can do this you can integrate google sheets with open ai which will help you for content creation and then again you have to connect it with the same google sheet so that it can be updated the values should be updated now how can you do that for this you will have to integrate these three applications and the same can be done using public connect software here your trigger application would be google sheets your action application would be first open ai and then again google sheets now how can you do this yourself and integrate and automate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen to start with the process we are first going to type the url pabli.com slash connect and as we do that it will take us to the landing page of this software now here on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user simply sign in and if you do not have an account with us then you will have to first sign up it will not take more than two minutes and yes at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks now i'm going to simply click on sign in as i already have an account here and I have reached the all apps page where since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on access now. Once done, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Now here, let's click on create workflow and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So what do I want that I have bulk titles on Google Sheets and then with the help of OpenAI, I wish to create descriptions or blogs. So I'm going to name it as create a blog content in bulk from Google Sheets using OpenAI. Let's click on create. As we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two very important events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens and action is do this. Basically action is the response of your trigger. Now here the first thing I that I want is that I wish to schedule to make sure that this workflow runs at a particular time every day. So I'm going to use schedule which is a feature by Pabli. And then here I'm going to select every day and let's say the time is 8 o'clock in the morning. So every day at 8 o'clock in the morning, this workflow should run. Let's click on save. And here you can see that this workflow is now successfully scheduled. Once it is scheduled, now I'm going to choose my application as Google Sheets. So let's click on this. And here I'm going to select the event as get rows. Why? Because as I click on get rows, so it will check all the rows and accordingly it will formulate. Let's click on connect. Now uh, this public connect is asking to connect itself with Google Sheets account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection. I have already logged into my Google account. So let's directly connect with Google Sheets and select the account once selected here i have to provide the authorization to provide the same let's click on continue and here you can see that the authorization has been successful so once this is done this means that public connect is now connected with google sheets now here we have to select the spreadsheet so let me show you the spreadsheet that i have created so this is the spreadsheet the title is open ai response and here i've got two columns one is video titles and another one is blog so going back to public connect here i'm going to look for open ai response this is it now since there was only one particular sheet so it has already been captured by the system now here we have to select the range so what is the range to understand that see this is the range okay so it is from a to to b block now i'm not going to write b5 why because this will keep on increasing so a2 to b this is how i'm going to write it once done let's click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the entire data but now when i have to run the same on open ai i cannot have 
four or five titles together. For this, I'm going to first toggle this towards the left side. And now I'm again going to click on save and send test request. Now, as soon as I've done that here, you can see that we have received the response in this particular format, right? So I have received my response all together. Now, what do I want? I want to separate it. Like I just need to receive the data which is there in the first row. For that, I'm going to add another action step. This is another feature by Pabli, which is an iterator. Let's click on this. And here we have to choose the array, basically this response result. And now let's click on save and send test request. As soon as we have done that, see, we have only received the data which was there in the A2 row, right? Now I'm going to go down and what do I want? I want this to be connected with OpenAI. So let's look for the application. Here it is. And the action event would be to generate content. Let's click on connect. Here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account. To set up this connection, I'm going to click on Add New Connection. And here we need a token for which I'm going to click on this hyperlink. As soon as we do that, here you can see that this is the secret key. Let's quickly copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. Click on Save to set up this connection. And here we can see OpenAI is connected with Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select the AI model, the prompt, maximum tokens, and all the of these. To understand this part, I'm going to take you to my OpenAI account and I've already logged into it. So here you can see this is my OpenAI account. It is extremely strong, powerful tool which can be used in creating different applications. And here I'm going to use it to create my content. Now here you can see that, you know, here on the dashboard, you have different tutorials and examples how to exactly do this. We have to go to playground. Let's click on this. And now what is this playground? We have to understand. This is literally as per the name. It's extremely interesting. It is fun to do this. I'm going to show you what. Let's say I write, write a blog for the title. And uh, then I have given the title as life is what um, then I've given the title as friendship is is a blessing right and now I'm going to click on submit to show you some magic and yes, here it is. You can see that it has actually written a blog right in front of us. And this is really interesting. And trust me, we can understand that it can help us in so many different ways. Now, why is the length only this much? That is because we have made the settings to work like that. Now, let me show you the settings. The first thing that we have is the mode. Post that we have the model. Now, if I'll show you, we have got different models, but we are going to go with the text WNC002. Why? Because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. It can perform any task the other GPT-3 models can, often with less context, and it has got 4,000 tokens, which means 4,000 characters. Now, the temperature. Again, what is temperature? It controls randomness. So basically, if you make it zero, so there is a lot of probability of repetition. But if you make it one, the probability of repetition would be very less. Now, maximum length here, I have selected as 256. Suppose you wish to write a big blog, you can select it up to 4000. The stop sequence. So here you can, I'm going to give it this particular sequence. This is going to help you to make sure that your API will stop generating further tokens, which means that the moment there is the stop sequence, it will stop generating any further characters. Now, once this is done, top P is one. This is the default setting. Frequency penalty is zero. Frequency penalty is again, it decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line. And presence penalty is, it increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics. And best of, so again here, it can generate multiple completions server side, but it only displays the best. So I can say that I want the best of three, right? 
So this is how this OpenAI works. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect and here we are going to select the AI model. See, it has already been selected. This is the uh, model that we are using. Now prompt. What is prompt basically? So taking you back to OpenAI and if I show you the view code, here you can see this is the prompt. Okay, basically the title and the question that you're writing. So I'm going to take you back to Public Connect. Here I'm going to write, write a blog for the title. That's it. And here we have to understand where's the title. For this, we are going to map the information. Mapping means that I already have this information in my previous step. I'm just going to retrieve it. So let's go to Iterator by Pabli and this is my video title. Let's click on this. Once done, maximum token. So here we have selected 256. Then the select sampling type. We already have seen that we have selected the temperature sampling. So let's click on this. Now the sampling value. So we have set it as 0 0.7, which is the default value. Presence penalty, frequency penalty, stop sequence. So we have the default values here, 0 0.7, 0, 0. We do not actually have to put the information or else you can always write. For example, I've written 0, then here also 0. Now the stop sequence was this. And best of, we had selected it as 3. Let's click on save and send test request. So once done, here we can see that we have received our blog. Yes, for 250 words, which means that this integration process is a success. Now, what do I want? I want this particular text to go back to my Google Sheet in B column, right in front of the title. For this, here I'll have to first add another action step. The application here would be Google Sheets. Here. And then the action event here would be lookup spreadsheet rows. Why are we using lookup? Why? Because first we'll have to look at each and every row to understand where it should put the blog. So let's click on connect. And again, I'm going to select existing connection. Let's click on save. Once done, we have to select the spreadsheet, which is OpenAI response. And now we can see that it has already selected the sheet. Now the lookup column. So search column as A, B, A, 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 B. You can pass multiple comma separated columns. We will grab the matching rows and give you all of its values. So here I wish to search A, uh, a column and B column, right? I want to look up for A column and B column. Going back to Public Connect, here I'm going to write A comma B. These are the two columns that I want to check. Now the lookup value. So I wish to look for the name of the title. So I'm going to go to iterator and this is the title that I'm looking for. Now do you want to include headers in response? Yes. How do you want to sort the value from top to bottom? Right? Let's click on save and send test request. So as soon as we do that here we can see we have received the row index. This is your video title. Okay. Now my next objective is to update the cell value. So I'm going to add another action step here. Again, the application is going to be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be, if I go down, update cell value. Let's click on this and click on connect. So once done, let's click on the existing connection, save it. And now select the spreadsheet. So this is OpenAI response. And it will automatically select the sheet. So this is sheet one. Now I wish to select the range. So to understand the range here again, we have the B value, right? The B column. So I'm going to select the B column until when. So for this, I'm going to the fifth step and select the result row index, this one. So once done, what about the value? So again here, I'm going to go to open AI generate content and select the text. Once done, let's click on save and send test request. 
So here you can see that it says that this entire process is a success. I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet and here you can see right in front of life is what you make it, the blog has appeared. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success and this is definitely going to save a lot of time for you. Going back to Pabli Connect, I'm going to exactly explain what we have done. So this is a very interesting integration process where our trigger application was scheduled so that this workflow can run every day at a particular time. The first action application was Google Sheets where our event was get rows. Then we had put an iterator so that the data can be collected, you know, in an array format. Then again, finally, we had chosen. So then we had put an iterator. Why? Because this actually, you know, divides the collection of data into numerous values so that, you know, we can go through each row. And then our action application was OpenAI. The event was generate content. Finally, our action application was Google Sheets where we had chosen our event as lookup spreadsheet rows. And the last action application was again Google Sheets. This time we had chosen our event as update cell value. I hope that we are through with this. If in case you have any doubt, then not to worry. You can refer to the same workflow. This is there in the description box. Also, you can clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any doubt or if you have any suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.